This is, look at this. This is, I am dressed inappropriately for this backdrop. This is, uh, this is the PG version of Westworld. That's what this is. It's Looney Tunes meets Westworld. Well, my name's Josh, and I'm happy to be here. And uh, a lot of comedians, uh, after the show, we get to talk to people, we get to meet people. They always want to ask the same questions. The one that I get asked the most is, why do you do stand-up? How'd you get into doing stand-up? And it's a pretty simple reason. Um, I feel like I'm funny all the time. And I don't mean 24 hours a day. I mean not just when I'm on stage, right? But the problem with that is when I'm funny out there, in the real world, and I don't have lights and a microphone and cameras on me and people sitting in chairs next to each other facing me, waiting to hear something funny. A lot of times, jokes just go to waste. So I started doing stand-up to give my humor a second chance at life. A good example of this was the last Valentine's Day. I was at my local grocery store in the floral department trying to find that perfect bouquet to take home with me and there's another gentleman a couple feet away doing the exact same thing and he didn't talk to me but he was talking to me because I was the only one around and he was talking pretty loud this is what he says he goes man it's crazy how much money you got to spend on something that's just gonna die and I was like I know and you got to buy him flowers <laughs> now listen people I love my wife but that may be the funniest thing I have ever said in my entire life, okay? But he wasn't ready for it. He's like, well, good luck with that, buddy. And he just started to walk away. I was like, dude, that was gold. It's a good thing I'm on Twitter. from Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, which means I go on terrible Midwest family vacations every year. I have no say in where we go. Two years ago, we went to Amish country. I don't know if you guys have been to Amish country, but that place is not fun at all. <laughs> okay, I, uh, I did not care for, you know what I didn't like? I'll tell you what I didn't like, the people. I didn't like the people, I've, I'm sorry. If you're friends with them, I apologize. I just, I found them to be very hypocritical, you know? Because they're all, we don't believe in electricity. <laughs> but we'll use it if we need to run your visa card. And I don't like that attitude, all right? I said, you go big or go home, Ezekiel. Don't plug up. It's a slippery slope. He didn't like me. Probably because his name wasn't Ezekiel. But he looked like it should have been. You know, I couldn't have been that far off, is what I'm trying to say. I think we just got started on the wrong foot, okay? Because the only reason I agreed to go in the first place was if I was allowed to take pictures that I could put on Facebook. And the first time I take a picture, I get scolded by this Amish man. He says, sir, we would appreciate if you're going to take pictures that you did not take them of us. And I said, why is that? He said, pictures give us a sense of pride and we don't like to do things that make us feel proud. I said, you're charging three grand for a kitchen table without any chairs to go with it. I'm pretty sure you're proud of that table, all right? Not proud. Why don't you tell me for the fourth time how you put that barn up in one day? You're not proud. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here and I'll just let you know that I don't care how good your pretzels are, I'm not gonna be coming back here to Amish country. And I left them a scathing Yelp review. I never heard back from a manager, which is so typical. But. Uh, Hey, thank you for watching this clip. If you'd like to see more clips from this special, you can click right here. And if you'd like to watch the whole special for just 99 cents, click right here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the world's largest library of stand-up comedy, click right here. Please click. They have my family!